Hi. I'm just about to go and pick up a bottle of wine for a friend because it's his birthday. And then I think we're going to spend most of the evening in his backyard just hanging out. We might have a bonfire. But yeah, that's what I'm doing today. Uh, I still haven't been able to unpack most of the boxes and stuff in my apartment because the painters still haven't come. And I'm really hoping they come tomorrow on Monday, but we'll see. They haven't really given me an update. I do have a couch arriving on Tuesday though, which is super exciting. I cannot wait to be able to sit on a couch and not just do everything from my bed, which is kind of what I've been doing for the last week. My bed and the kitchen table, but it'll just feel so good to finally have a couch. I can't wait and then I can show you how I'm actually gonna decorate everything and that'll be really fun. But yeah, okay, anyway, I don't know why I'm rambling about house stuff. Uh, let's go and get some wine. You're on top of the dumpster. So painters were supposed to come and paint my apartment early last week and I don't know if they just forgot but my building caretaker basically just said I should do whatever I want like I can unpack all my stuff because they were supposed to come a while ago and I'm tired of living in boxes so I'm just gonna go to the paint store buy white paint and deal with this myself because I just want to actually feel like I live here finally so we're about to go to the paint store I I'm just gonna buy white paint and that's gonna be that. Today we're gonna paint and then tonight we're gonna go over to my friend's place and a whole bunch of gals are gonna be hanging out there and we're just gonna do some crafts and I think one of them is gonna do my nails. Yeah, she's gonna do like gel nails for me which hopefully will last for my Europe trip. I leave in six days six days i get on a plane and fly to london actually okay yeah, i need to talk to you guys about this because i need all of your europe suggestions of places to go and places to eat you guys were so helpful when i went to new york i basically i booked a hotel that one of you recommended and went to restaurants that you guys recommended and everywhere was so good so i'm going to london prague berlin the amalfi coast and then Milan, Venice, Florence, Rome, potentially Barcelona. And this trip is like a month and a half almost. So it's a long one. Yeah, any suggestions that you have, I would happily take. This is a lot of blush. Oops. I also don't know what to pack. I have no idea what I should wear. I need to start planning outfits. Oh my God. Yeah, I need to, I need to figure out what I need to bring with me, whatever. Anything I forget to bring with me, I can just buy when I'm there. And whatever I buy there will probably be infinitely better than what I already have. I totally overplucked my eyebrow and there's a little bald spot there. Oopsie. Okay, I did my mascara off camera because it's too hard to do on a phone screen, but I'm gonna get dressed. It's super hot out. So yeah, I'm gonna put on some teeny tiny clothes and go to the paint store. I promise I'll stop talking and like actually just leave the house in a second, but I bought this skirt online. I bought it from Los Angeles Apparel. I also bought this tank top, which I love and it fits so well, but this skirt, I bought it in a size small. For my entire adult life, I've been a size small. And this does not fit. It is so tight 
and it's unflattering because it kind of just like hugs in all the wrong places. I want to return it and just get a medium, but I feel like I have gone through like a second puberty where my body has kind of changed and expanded in all of these little places that I didn't expect it to, but I'm like a 27 year old woman. So that makes sense. My body's not going to be the same as it was when I was 22, but I'll just show you what it looks like because it's like <laughs> kind of funny looking. I don't know if you can tell that it's like just hugging here in such an aggressive way and it's like hugging my hips and it just it doesn't look good and this is totally one of those skirts in the past I would have just forced myself to wear I would have been like I'm a size small it has to fit me I would have just worn it and been so uncomfortable in it because it's digging into my waist but yeah I'm not gonna do that that's fucking stupid. Uh, so I'm just gonna put on some shorts that actually fit me and not force my body into a skirt that's way too small. I don't really know <laughs> where I'm going with this, but being an adult woman is so weird and your body just like changes in all of these unexpected ways. And it's like kind of fun, but it's also kind of confusing. But yeah, with all that being said, I think I should probably do like a big closet clean out because I have lots of clothes that just don't even fit me at all anymore. They don't fit my hips, they don't fit my butt, and I should just get rid of them and probably sell them on Depop or something. Yeah. Oh, I'll show you my jelly shoes. These are my jelly shoes. They're so cute. If you guys are old enough to remember American Apparel, you'll probably remember the American Apparel jelly shoes and these are they're the exact same. Uh, but yeah, I used to wear those every single summer, all summer, and I'm so glad that I have a pair of them again. They're so comfy. I love them. Okay, now we're actually going to leave the house. I'm going to shut up. I have been painting for the last five hours, I think. So I'm gonna take a break and I'm gonna go over to a friend's place. Oh, but yeah, it feels so good having that room almost completely done. When I come home tonight from her place, I'm gonna do a second coat of paint on the walls and then I'll be finished. But yeah, it feels so much better in there now that it's white. I really, really like it.
I just want to give a huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Squarespace is an all-in-one website building platform. They make it so easy for you to build your dream website all by yourself. It's so beginner friendly. They have so many tools to help you create a beautiful website. They have all of these customizable templates. So if you're a small business owner looking to launch your business online or you're a content creator looking to have a landing page so when people search up your name they know exactly who you are and the kind of content that you make. Squarespace makes it so easy for you to succeed. I love how customizable my Squarespace website is and I recently added a page where you can submit your favorite book to me or you can just tell me about a book that you enjoyed or didn't enjoy. Basically I just set up this page so that we can talk about books and the message that you send me from my website will go directly to my email. Squarespace also has incredibly powerful analytics and insights so you can see exactly where traffic to your website is coming from. If you're interested in creating a website on Squarespace, you can go to squarespace.com and then when you're ready to launch your page, you can get 10% off a website or a domain with the code Lauren Louise at checkout. Thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring this video and yeah, please feel free to send me a message on my book submission page and we can just chat about books. Yeah.